Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hotsi and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, where last time we um, experimented with uh, this setup, tried to figure out how it works, and we will come to that in a minute. We also tried to cool down this crude oil some more, but we are not there yet at the point where we could use this cool uh, basin in order to uh, do some base cooling and we have to be aware that our duplicants may get a bit hungry as the temperature in here is a bit on the warm side for the growth uh, that's probably mainly due to the water that's coming in way too warm for the plants liking. So we also uh, circumvented this uh, logistic puzzle by uh, busting in here. And I did some reading up on these uh, sport shit seeds um, or the zombie spores uh, and uh, as far as I can tell that has the potential to turn my uh, duplicants into zombies. That's not really something that we want so uh, from what I put together uh, we will need um, zombie spores in here and we do have some down here where I uh, we had some some uh, uh, growing over there and if we look at this you can see the uh, the blue dots that's the the zombie spores so I would assume, um, based on what we need here, uh, steel and zombie spores, we would need to pump in gas that's filled with zombie spores. And that could go horribly wrong for my duplicants than being in here as well. So I guess we'll do two things. We will only enter this area when we are in atmospheres. So that basically means we have to make an access from down here to there and close this off on this side. and. Then we want also want to contain the atmosphere in here to not go anywhere else so we can contain the spores. And for that I think um, we will just do a simple lock here. there um, or in this area and maybe oh, we can have we can have letters here since that works Letters going down to here and then just straight over. And we will 
deconstruct this that we uh, put in place last time. Um, we will deconstruct that part here as well as pipe. Because what we will do is in this room we will have to plant some zombie spores. We will pump out the gas and into the uh, biobot builder uh, and then uh, we get gas out that we then can um, basically just pump in the room again. What we probably want to have is, is a bit of um, uh, uh, carbon dioxide because that's what the, the uh, plants like. So we will probably make a bit of room here. And everything that's not needed. Um, have a gas pump here, yeah, connect that that way, oh, and we need probably a ladder to reach up there, and while we are building this, this, this can be done by, uh, by normal duplicates, they don't need to have the suits, only once we uh, we have planted the uh, um, some spores, then we have to be careful. So we will hook this up, and we can cancel that part. Um, yeah, and maybe let's not do the, the ladder completely because that would make a connection for the area where we have uh, where we have duplicates in suits and duplicates without suits, and that usually messes everything up. We can deconstruct this door and have um, uh, the uh, bottle emptier on that side. Um, food wise, seems to look like uh, we are good for now. We uh, get also a care package uh, of low quality food, um, but at this point, I think every bit helps. So with that, uh, let the duplicate do a bit of work uh, and then we can see where we stand and uh, figure this thing out. We survived so far. The crude oil is still not cool enough, still cooling. But here on this side, I have closed this side off and we have access through here uh, and we have some planting spaces and here uh, we will have the... Where are they? Seeds. Farm plot. That's a farm plot. That's a farm tile. We need a farm plot. Would that be a planter box? We will. We will see. But 
basically everything is is set up here this pump is disabled because we are pumping a bit more carbon dioxide in here to get uh, a solid atmosphere of carbon dioxide and then we will see how that goes here on this side um, one generator broke so uh, I dismantled it and uh, planned to replace it with a steel one and also added a few tanks for the gas at least that's how it's planned because the natural gas is kind of backlogging here which is not that good an idea and probably we will run into troubles here because I assume once we reach uh, input temperatures of 8 degrees uh, the first one will bypass and basically uh, then the whole system shuts down um, so I am not sure maybe we would need to uh, to switch the order uh, of the temperature gates around but we will figure that out when uh, when um, the machines actually turn off so them that way or hmm. or do we have to find them in a flower box what do we need here so we will see once that is figured out. Finally found the right container to plant those in. So let's do that. We have three that we can plant and we have uh, four, uh, four pots where we can plant them. And I should have known because these disguise themselves as decorative plants and not as nutritional plants. So uh, let's wait and see until we have planted them. Uh, what happens then? Uh, I would expect that we get... Uh, infestation of zombie spores in here and uh, once the pump is going that should then do something to uh, to this thing here well we will see once we have things planted and the first two are planted uh, and the uh, pump is going on we do not yet have a lot of spores in here um, that might change and uh, especially with three plants we should be generating more spores and uh, we are incubating again we are at 51% so I would expect uh, with the low density of spores, at least at this point, um, 
we should okay apparently this door is not Let's do this and hope we survive that. The sporb is almost done with incubating. So um, we will see what happens next. Do we need to, uh, to empty the building? Maybe. Looks a bit like a morp. We will see what that actually does. Okay, we delivered more steel. I would really assume that's for the next iteration of whatever this is. And from what I gather is uh, we have here one component and then here the another one, biological one. Okay, yeah. Try to flick all the levers. Oh, yeah. That was something. And in here, we have something else. Restart afresh. What do we have? Success! My duplicant's effort to get the Biobot Builder up and running have finally paid off. Our first fully assembled PAGGY Biobot is ready to perform tasks in hazard hazardous environments, which means less exposure, exposure to danger for my duplicants. There seems to be no limit to the number of biobots that we can produce. A small toy bot was found discarded behind the sporp tank. It occasionally plays a deteriorated laugh track. Okay. What else do we get? Challenge completed. That's what we had uh, just read. Save disposals. Okay. And where did this little fella go? Did we already lost track of him? Oh, there it is. So, let's follow him. So, basically, looks like this is just another workforce that can do the work for us. Nice. So maybe now we get a bit more done here. I noticed here we do have, or we might have a problem. We have some some water in there in the mix, which is not that great. But I guess uh, seeing that 
we have here temperatures around freezing it's it's okay what we want to avoid is that the water turns to steam in here and then here on top we are at eight degrees or a bit above so here we have minus 20 and here we have 8. So what happens if we do minus 20 here? And 8 there. And then the middle one, that should not be affected. And with now only 2 of the aquatuna running, that creates less heat which means uh, we should be able to cool this top room down uh, and that in turn should help us with, uh, with the cooling as well because um, if this room gets cooler and especially the uh, petroleum gets cooler uh, we lose less uh, less heat in the cooled down uh, uh, crude oil um, and we get a higher temperature variance back. So currently we have 8 degree in and actually we are coming with 14 degrees out. So, if we look at this, we have here minus, minus 19, but then we are at 14, so basically this is now cooled down, and that's why this heats up. So, once this is cooled down, I guess uh, we have this set up in a more efficient form. And once we have sufficiently cooled this whole cool down, and that's probably still a while away. Let's take the, uh, the X. Um, we can then think about um, think about uh, having, having proper cooling in our base. But I would think that's it for today and next time. We will probably turn our attention to this fella here, the Gravitas shipping container. And after that we have some fossils down here that we can explore. And of course, um, if uh, we have a look, there is quite a bit of unexplored space around here that we want to have a look in and just in case we find more interesting stuff but that's it for today hope you enjoyed it and tune in next time for more oxygen not included until then goodbye